Hey, I'm in the messy corner of my basement, and I wanted to show a little bit of what I was working on today. Uh, my talon down there. Um, I'm going to power on a second and show the display that I've been working on. Okay, here's my talon. I just plugged it in. It's booting up. Nothing too exciting here other than blinking lights. All right, the, the beagle bone on the talon is booting up. Not too much is going on yet while we wait for it to boot. Here's the display. There's a big blank status, and that's what I'm hoping will show some interesting stuff as soon as it boots up. Okay, so here we go. So you can see how I have some red alert messages there, some yellow warnings, and then possibly some green OK messages below. So you can see, like, uh, it's warning me the load average of the beagle bone is 5.77. Oh, it's dropping. Um, that's because it just booted up. It actually will run down to a lower level if it goes. Um, it's telling me the GPS uh, dilution of precision is too high. Um, I'm in the basement. It's never very good here. I'm lucky to even get a signal. Um, it'll show me some GPS satellite stuff and um, some EKF stuff as well as some things with battery voltage and wind and other status things that uh, might affect the safety of the flight. So um, it dynamically sorts itself up and down the different levels um, as value, the individual values uh, meet or exceed the thresholds, and then there's sort of a totally okay threshold that just, it'll completely drop off the screen. Um, out of sight, out of mind, uh, like if you have like 20 satellites, who cares? Um, we also see satellites up at the top of the screen. Um, and right now we only have six. So that's it. It's kind of a, I'm kind of excited to try this out in real flight. Um, and Hopefully it will uh, give me a heads up if anything bad is impending in the flight. Plane is up flying. It is flying with the onboard the FMU EKF that includes magnetometers in the measurement update. Um, and it is doing uh, all my display fixes and my uh, extra status message box, um, which is all in the green right now. Here's the instrument panel. Everything's in flight. Um, there's not actually that much to show. Load averages in the green, um, but I'm watching it. Uh, accelerometer biases are at 0.22 meters per second squared. That's the, the largest accelerometer bias is what that is, um, which probably means I could do a little bit more temperature calibration fitting, um, but it's certainly within flyable spec. It's not an issue. Um, and then the position accuracy is showing about three meters estimated. Um, Oh, it's one degree Celsius, which means it's cold out here for April 4th, um, but we're seeing 19 satellites, everything's looking good, uh, it's nice and sunny, uh, airplane's hitting a few thermals so you can see it's bouncing around and uh, correcting itself as it's going, um, but pretty uneventful considering all the changes I made since the last flight.
here is what the ground station was saying. Uh, looks like our EKF just completely blew up. I have a small theory that I want to check out. That's the map. Um, if you can see the actual raw numbers, they're just like going nuts. Um, yeah, that'll be an interesting one to track down. Hopefully, uh, find something that makes sense.